a lot of what we've seen in currency markets in 2018 has been about trying to figure out U.S. trade policy as it relates to the U.S. administration's efforts to effectuate a weaker U.S. dollar. Initially, the dollar had been under quite a bit of pressure on the back of this, though over the past few weeks, there has been retaliatory campaign from U.S. trading partners that has managed to cast some doubt over the U.S. administration's abilities to follow through with its plan. Couple this with Fed policy normalization and some added dollar demand on safe haven bids associated with trade wars, and the dollar is enjoying a very nice run. Dollar gains on Monday weren't anything crazy against most currencies, though Brexit woes in the UK and political strain and economic deterioration in UK, Turkey resulted in some bigger moves in the pound and lira, respectively. The pound sunk to yet another 2018 low, while the lira collapsed to fresh record lows as dollar lira rocketed up towards 550 before finally relenting into early Asia on headlines of mutual understanding between Turkey and U.S. over sanctions. Looking ahead, the market will take in the latest RBA decision before turning to German trade, German industrial production, the New Zealand GDT auction, Canada IVPMIs, and U.S. jolts job openings as the day progresses. As far as key levels go, keep an eye on the euro and gold, both sitting just off their 2018 lows, which guard against major barriers at 115 and 1200 respectively. That's all for now.